you ready to be a timber? What? That's the first thing you say to me, and it's people for the club are gonna reach out pretty soon. Yeah, sounds good. Boom, hang up the phone. I called Jabo. Jabo, I think I'm on your team, bro. He's like, no, no, you're not coming out there. There's, there's no chance. Kind of just made me want to, you know, play that much more. Let's see, let's see. Hey, let's see the play on the... So usually I just like to play off of what I'm wearing. Um, top three, I'd probably have to go Grateful Dead. I think the orange ones, I think, just pop a little more. So yeah, I, I think it just starts with like what what, what the vibe is. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm cozy, but I also kind of like to get a fit off here or there. So it's, uh, it's good to kind of switch it up. I think all time favorite is probably these. I, I think I wear these probably most out of any of my shoes, but these just don't miss. Yeah, these don't miss ever. Just getting in the habit of wearing shoes and, and not, you know, keeping them around. And good thing is, I don't think I have to buy another pair of shoes, you know, if, if I wanted to stop now. But once you get started, it's, it's hard to stop. <laughs> yeah. So. I think we can just keep it simple with play on the brown and a little red in the hoodie. So probably go to Travis, Travis Lowe's. Not big on tying the shoes, so straight in, but. Yeah, I think that's me. What's that? How are you? We're doing okay. Yeah. Yeah, staying warm. Hi. Yeah. yeah. I think you're okay once you get out here. Yeah, yeah, main roads are fine. It's just it's just these hills, yeah. so. Well, that's good to know. If you need anything, let, let me know. I will. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks. See ya. Vibe's gotta get high, you know. It's You go in in a good mood, and you're usually gonna leave in a good mood, so. It's a great way to start the day. Coming from Maryland, you have a big fan base as well. You know, we're getting 8,000 and then you, you sell out every game at Providence Park and it's like, all right, this is the next step up. Yeah, I mean, the DMV, it's a diverse place that has like a ton of talent, I think. My biggest memory is is playing against, you know, guys like Gideon Dalalum. For me, it was just kind of like, you know, how do I get to that level? I, I knew I wanted to go pro at that point, whether it was DC United, I think we had some stuff in Europe. I was headed back to school and my agent that I was working with calls me and he's like, are you ready to be a timber? I'm like, what? Yeah, so you're, you're gonna go to Portland and they're super excited to have you and I'm sure there are people for the club who are gonna reach out pretty soon. Yeah, sounds good. Boom, hang up the phone, I called Jabo. The first place we went was Bamboo Sushi, um, and we're standing in line. And one of one of the fans came up to to me and Jabo, and it's like, Eric, we're super happy to have you here, and can't wait for you to get started. And that was the first time I really realized like how invested our fans are into the game. You know, I'm some random kid from the DMV, and you know, haven't played a minute, let let alone put on Timbers gear, and they already kind of knew who I was, which was exciting, and it kind of just made me want to, you know, play that much more. Coming out here was 2018, and it's Larry coming off an MVP season, and it's like, he's not saying much, super to himself, and it's like, oh, he goes on the field, and you see his personality. It's like, ah, oh, that's, there's the MVP, you know? He's starting to get habits of, okay, what does he do right? What is, where is, where is he taking that next step? And the same thing with, with Char, you see him on both sides of the ball, especially on the defensive side. He just hunts, you know, it, it, it's a perfect way to put it. And learning from them, I think, is a perfect idea for a career of someone who plays in between um, a playmaker and a defensive midfielder. It's the it's one that you can kind of piece it together. And I think that's why a lot of our midfielders have so much success, because you have two legends of the game, um, not only for this club, but the entire league. And they're such great people that it's, it, it, it's kind of easy to kind of bounce energy off of them and, and, and you know, gain experience just strictly by, by playing with them. That's what this season is, is a comeback season that is, that's making a statement and, and you know, coming in with a bang. Excited for, for, for more years here and, and it's a place that I want to continue to play for, you know. It's a, a team, a club, a city that is, is easy to represent because they, they stand behind us.